Happy New Year everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's a cold day here in Nexter. We had a frost this morning. It is 7th of January and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to plant up all my peppers and chilies uh, for later on this year. Um, I'm just going to plant them out into little uh, seed trays and I'm going to put them in on my uh, heated propagator in the conservatory until we get round to about May and the weather's warm enough to put them out. So stick with me. I'll show you what varieties uh, I'm going to be growing this year and uh, I'm just going to show you me putting the seeds into the dirt. So let me swing the camera around and I'll show you what's going on. So I've come a little bit prepared today and uh, I've already got my seed trays sorted out and I've actually even done the labels. Don't know if you can see that. That one's King of the North. But uh, yeah, it's too cold to spend a lot of time here on the shed. So uh, I've done a lot of the prep before I've got out here. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll stick a picture of what these peppers look like uh, in the middle of the video just to let you see what's going on. Uh, so let's let's start off with California Wonder. A lot of these peppers, uh, the seeds already been opened. It was used last year, so I'm going to use up old seed. So let's start with this one, California Wonder. I'm just going to put two little drills in here. And get these seeds in. Some of these seeds are from Vital Seed Company, and some are from an unknown source, which came as part of a part of a gift set. So I don't know how old these seeds are or when they should be used by. So I'm just going to put them all in. Let's see if I can space them out a little bit. So that's all the ones from uh, the Vital Seed Company. I don't know whether anyone's ever used these before. Quite a good company in here in the UK. So these are California Wonder, which are a nice big, good size um, bell pepper. There is one last seed in here. I might as well rip it open and get it out. As I said, these seeds were used last year and some the year before, so I don't know whether they're still viable. So we'll just put them all in and we'll see what comes up. So that's the California Wonders. And these will all be going in a heated propagator in the conservatory, which is, um, even though we got a frost last night, still managed to stay about 12 degrees. So that's a California wonder done. Uh, Corno di Toro Rossa. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have tried these ones before. They're uh, really long, red, sweet pepper. And uh, yeah, they're very nice. I've, this packet's been opened before. I have grown some before, so we'll stick some of these in. I'm going to go all in with peppers this year. As I said, we, uh, we eat a lot of them in this house. So I'm just going to put all these seeds in and see what comes up. Then, if I get too many, if it turns out I get too many, I can always give Delilah some. She'll readily take some. She quite likes red peppers as well. So I hope you all had a nice uh, Christmas and New Year. Um, I'm sure uh, a lot of people here in the UK have been well aware of all the... Seriously 
bad weather we've been having lately. Uh, we've had a lot of wind and rain and st storms. Storm Hank was the last one to go through this this week, which caused a lot of uh, flooding f uh, for the north in the country. We did we did have uh, some mild some little floods down here in Devon, but. Um, I think that it's, it's been a lot worse for the north. Uh, the allotments are very damp and soggy. Uh, this is Robertina. Um, I was up there yesterday and uh, there's not an awful lot of things that's urgent things to do at the minute. So. Yeah, I'm not going to go up today. I'm, I'm going to do these, then I'm going to relax and do something else. I've got a few things to do indoors. Um, so I, I don't need to go up every day. Although this is the only second day we've had for quite a while where we haven't had rain. But it is freezing cold. So this was a, a, some seeds I got from Premier Seeds Direct last year and they're called Robertina and it's a nice uh, sweet pepper. As I said, I'll see if I can stick pictures in while well, I'm doing the editing of this video. But up at the allotment, uh, things that are growing up at the allotment are we've still got parsnips growing. They did them really, really well. We enjoyed them for Christmas. I've got some small carrots growing. Uh, the elephant garlic's come up. The other garlic still seems a bit reluctant to show its head. And the onions are coming up. The onions I grew from onion sets. That is. Those were the onion sets that I got from uh, Twin Sister Dolores. So, uh, I actually made a mistake just before I started filming. I watered all these tray seeds with water from in here that had been sitting in here and it's freezing cold. So, um, I'm hoping to warm up once I get them back in the house. So that's Robertina. Uh, this one is a Hungarian sweet wax. Have I got, is there any in it? Oh, there's not many seeds in there. Oh, there's, no, there's enough. So, uh, Just make a little indentation in here. So, so as I said, we went up to the allotment yesterday, didn't do much. Done some painting of wood for my new table that I'm trying to build. And done a little bit of a tidy up, all the things that have been blown around from the past couple of storms. As I said, I haven't been up there much over the past couple of weeks. Been taking it quite easy. So this next one is going to be King of the North, which as you can see produces nice large uh, Sweet peppers. I've also got some onions that I grew from seed in here, which I shall be putting on. And they will go outside maybe next month 
add the allotment. Okay, that's King of the North. King of the North is quite a good pepper to try in this country because they're supposed to be more um, tolerant to cooler temperatures. Um, I'm not quite sure how that works out in real life, but that's the way it is. This one is called Anaheim. It's supposed to be a hot pepper. But um, I grew these last year and they were so mild there was no heat in them. I just used them as sweet peppers. So I'm going to try them again. Um, yeah, I might as well just put them all in. There's only six seeds anyway, and there's no guarantee that all six are going to germinate. Actually, there's seven. You know, if Delilah doesn't want any spares, I can always give them to people at work. And the last one I'm putting in, the last pepper, is a chilli pepper, hot chilli pepper, and it's called Heavenly Facing Angel Pepper. I don't know whether you can make that out. Uh, I did try these before and they didn't germinate, so I'm just going to put them all in, try them again. If they come up, then that's a bonus. If they don't, then we're not too fussed. But, um, yeah, this is a, one of those uh, Chinese chilli peppers that grow upwards pointing to the sky, hence the name Heavenly Facing Angel, or Angel Facing Heaven, one of the two. So there's four of them. Okay, so... So that's, that's all my papers done. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is just do a few leaks. If you watched the videos earlier this year, you'll have seen we were hit by the Allium Leaf Miner. Now, even though we were hit by the Allium Leaf Miner, by stripping back the damaged leaves, we managed to get quite a considerable amount of leak that we could use. And it meant we had to harvest everything as quickly as possible to minimise the damage. So it was a case of digging all the leaks up, stripping back any damaged leaves, then washing them, chopping them and freezing them. So I've got a freezer full of leaks practically. Um, but they are they are quite good. And so even though we got the Allium leaf miner last year, we're going to try again this year, but we're going to plant them in a different bed and see if we get any better... Uh, results this year. So I found two packets of seeds that I already had open. One was Musselburra, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you have tried before in the past. It's a quite a popular leak to try. And the other one is uh, Leon 2 prize taker, uh, which says, favourite early leak, good enough for showing, Long, thick, white shanks, mild flavour, good source of vitamin C, iron and folate. So we'll stick all these in here. I'll just move these out of the way. OK, so I've done the muscle burrow uh, off of camera. I'll just cover them up with some compost. I 
I'll water these with uh, some warm water. Well, not warm, but water that's not frozen. And this one's going to be the Leon. These ones here. So leeks, like all the rest of the alliums, um, I'm sure many of you have seen these before in the past. Um, the seeds are like little lumps of coal. Like that. So there's not many in this packet left, so I'm just going to put the lot in and we'll see what comes up. As I say, any that I don't need, I can offer to Delilah, and if she doesn't want them, I can offer them to people at work. Well, that's me finished here in the potting shed. Uh, I'm going to go back inside now and get something to eat and a hot cup of coffee. It's, it's quite chilly out here. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll try and keep you updated what's happening at the allotment and what's happening with these uh, pepper seeds. So stay tuned for later videos during the year and uh, take care for now and I'll see you all later. Bye.